Yeah, we good now, though. Peace, y'all. We back. We back. We back. Connectivity issues. We good, though. All right, we back. We back. Nah, nah, they can't stop. Can't stop. Nah, it, no, nothing fishy was going on. It's, it was connectivity. I thought I was on Wi-Fi and I wasn't. All right, but peace, y'all. Peace, 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 peace. Back to it. Back to it. Wait for some folks to get in. Make sure you share. All right, make sure you share. Make sure you share. Sharing is caring. Sometimes caring can be very daring. All right, I'm going to say it again. Sharing is caring. Sometimes caring can be very daring. All right? All right, we back. We back. All right, we back. We back. We back. All right, but back to it. Back to it. Back to it. Back to it. Wait for the folks to come on in. Make sure y'all share, share, share. All right, lesson of the day is principle. Word of the day is principle. Message of the day is principle. Word of the day is principle. Okay? We have to focus on the principle. Somebody said, what type of beans? Principle beans. All right, understanding what the principle is, who the principle is. Because don't you know that the debt is owed to the principle? All right, shout out to all the international followers. Peace and love. All right, now I don't know all the laws in all countries, but I bet you... Anything in my account that every country has some type of constitution where the, the citizens can exercise. All right. Now, I wouldn't say all, but, you know, those that are under the one world order, we ain't going to go too deep into that. All right. But today we're talking about principles. All right. Today we're talking about principles. Debt is owed to the principle. If you got to write that down so you can rem so you can remember it, debt is owed to the principle. All right, y'all, we live on Facebook. We live on Instagram. Shout outs to both sides. Peace and love to the both families. Okay. All right, today we're going over some information. All right, if you put this, put these names on your bill and just send it in without understanding what's going on, it's on you, family. If your account gets locked up, it's on you. Somebody asks us, is it the principal or the principal? All right, we're talking about the P-A-L, not the P-L-E. All right, principal, principal, principal. The one with the P L E is talking about morals. A principal is a master of a school. All right, so you got to understand. Like back to the story I was telling y'all about. Um, I used to get suspended a lot in middle school. All right, when I used to have to get reinstated, I used to have to meet with the principal. I couldn't just go straight to class. All right, I couldn't just go straight to class. I had to go meet with the principal, and the principal had to reinstate me. All right, so for those that's been following and those for those that's been reading, that sounds a little bit relatable to the Sesta K. Vi Act of 1666. Okay. So if I if I'm suspended from school and I go back to school and I can't just go to class and act like and basically resume business, I have to get reinstated by the principal so I can resume business. Don't y'all know school is a business? Don't y'all know every single person that is that is in school is acting as an agent? What do y'all think? Lunch accounts come from and they be like you owe You don't owe the principal is due that Everything is already prepaid family when your family When your mom and dad enrolled you into that school, they had to apply Right Right They had to apply so since school is a business they don't got to tell you private information they're going to give you the public basics of information that you signed up for. Okay? So a lot of times we be beating up on public school system. I know I used to. All right? But I, I'm going to be real. If it wasn't for public schools, a lot of us wouldn't know how to read. A lot of us wouldn't know how to write. Why? Because we said, well, my daddy, well, my mama would just taught me. Your mom and daddy didn't have time to teach you. They were at work paying bills. They had to drop you off somewhere. And what's more common 
than a public school. To put you on a public system. Meaning everybody needs to learn how to read, write, count, how to put your squares in circles. How to put, no, how to put your squares in squares and your circles with circles. How to put your, your sentences properly together. How to build a paragraph. How to comprehend. How to write words over and over and over and over. We use ask yourself, why I got to keep writing this? So you can remember it, you uninformed child. can remember it okay that's why so you can remember it that's why you had to read the same stuff over and over and over and over you know how I many people come and ask questions about this information and say things like can you just tell us the answers I'm gonna tell you the answers today but what Curriculum, you know, where they just give you the answers, don't teach you how to properly use answers. How can you show your work? How do you show your work if you do, if you can't break down what you're doing? Folks, actually, hey man, what's the what's the answer to, to three plus three? I bet I'm about to put six. Just tell me what to say. I'm gonna put it, and then you put six. You send it in to the teacher. The teacher looks at it and sends it back and say, hey, I need you to show your work. This isn't right. And that's the, that's the boat that a lot of you people are in. I would say we, but I'm not in that boat anymore, all right? And a lot of times we like to use, it was, it's definitely influencers, all right? They kind of, it's kind of taught to kind of have that we, like, make it relatable. Make it seem like you. It's like, great, I can make it relatable all day, but I'm not going to keep on saying I'm this, I'm, like, I'm not, okay? I'm here to elevate folks. I'm here to motivate folks. I'm not here to talk down on people. If you feel like I'm talking down on you, it's simply because you're a loser. Okay? And that ain't the alcohol talking. That's just my heart talking. You're a loser. All right? Because everybody that's been competitive understands a coach that's on your ass is a coach that believes in you. Y'all ever knew that trash-ass person on the team? The, the sorriest person on the team the coach never got on their ass? Why? Because they suck. Some of y'all got kids that the trash is kid on the damn team. The coach don't say nothing to him because your baby trash. That's why. But let's get back to the uh, information. All right. So when we receive these bills, understand these bills are value being sent to us, family. Okay. These bills are sent to us so we can use. Y'all think they just sending us bills so we can look at them and say, oh my gosh, I can't pay this. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? It's just me. I don't have help. Now you start blaming people around you that ain't helping you because you ain't read shit. You start blaming your baby mama. You start blaming your baby daddy for the things you're not reading. Okay? You just start blaming folks. Okay? Think about it. Why am I in this situation? Who ain't helping me? My daddy ain't helping me. My mama, they see I need help. We get into these childlike mentalities like, why isn't anyone helping me? Every corporation you invest in is helping you. Okay? They're giving you money every month. Remember, word of the day is principal. The bill is due to the principal. The principal is not a living person. The living person is the agent that is doing business for the principal. Who's the living person? Me. You. Me. You. You ever called the bank before and they said, your principal balance is yada yada. They're telling you. You ever called a bill before and say, hey, yeah, your principal balance is yada yada. They're telling us we want to keep blaming banks. We want to keep blaming the school system. We're literally blaming the school system that taught us how to read. If it wasn't for the school system, a lot of y'all wouldn't know how to read. Well, a lot of folks don't even read. Really think about that. What, what, what were you going to do if you wasn't in public school? A lot of people, well, I would have just been in public. I would have just been in private school. Private school where? Your mom and dad was uninformed. What, what private school money? What are you talking about? 
that public school saved you to even be able to comprehend what I'm talking about. Okay? So we need to have a damn public school celebration day, okay? Because, again, I can say for me personally, if it wasn't for public schools, I wouldn't know how to read. All right, my dad was in the military. My mom was, you know, being a mother, but she, you know, you know, she wasn't informed on the things that she needed to be informed on. You see what I'm saying? So we needed these schools. You know what I mean? He would say, we should just put all our kids in private school, and then they kid go to public school. I'm like, shut up. Shut up. I many people say that? We need to put all kids in private school. Why, why is it we? It's individual. What my kid knows isn't going to be what your kid knows. This isn't a collective family. A lot of people put their kids in public schools so they can do what? Go to work. Because most people say, I can't have kids on my hip all day. I got to go make some money. I got to go make some money. Right? Right. Okay? Now, if somebody can't make money because they got kids on their hip, now they're going to start thinking, who isn't helping me? Who, where is my other part, partner? Where is my help? Where you see how we start getting into ha ha ha? It's an easy, basically, it's an easy uh, pit to fall in. Okay, being uh, 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 male and female, or being masculine and being feminine. Okay, it's all about cash, family. That's why they have school sits between eight and five. After school program stop around five o'clock. Okay, kids get out of school about 3 o'clock. They go to after school for about two hours. Mom and dad get off or, or 6, 7. Okay, all that is geared so we can understand a workman schedule. Okay, but while we're learning public information, meaning how to read, how to count, how to comprehend, when we go home, we're supposed to learn private information like interests, equity, rights. Okay. So understand, every bill that you get, all right, on my bills, I put accepted for value. Again, this is not legal advice. I'm not an attorney, all right? Uh, this is just entertainment, information purposes only. Uh, proceed at your own risk. Um, uh, quote from Congress, 1 U.S.C. 1. Um, an idiot is anyone that enters a contract and doesn't understand what the contract is. So please, <laughs> be my guest. Go be an idiot. <laughs> All right, go be an idiot. All right, idiot, again, is anybody that enters a contract and doesn't read what is going on and doesn't have capacity to contract. One of the first elements in contract is capacity. And if you don't have capacity, my friend, and you are inside of a contract, my friend, you're an idiot or you're a minor. Which one is it? Those are your only two options. Either you're an idiot or you're a minor. Which one is it? A lot of us walking around saying we're smart. I'm this and I'm that. And I'm here to let you know, by law, my friend, you're dead. <laughs> yeah, I had to realize, like, damn, I'm a dead man walking. And I have to start accepting my interest, showing that I'm alive to prove to the system that, hey, this is a living agent. This, this principal has an agent that is competent of contracting. And this principal is coming here to claim his interest. That's the way we got to step. Okay? That's the way. Because if you're not claiming your no interest, family, you are dead. A lot of folks saying, I got to get to a comfortable position before I can learn this. It doesn't matter what you got to do or how much money you got to get to for you to learn. You're dead until then. That, it, it don't make Congress, it don't make contracting no difference how you go about it. Uh, I got folks that have been following me for five years saying the same thing. I just got to get to a comfortable position before I can learn this information. I just got to get to a comfortable You know I'm just not in the right head space. Damn. Well, why do you think you're not in the right head space, loser? Start doing some winning shit. You're doing a bunch of losing shit. Okay? So, again, some of the things I put on my bill, I put accepted for deposit. All right, why do I put accepted for deposit on my bill? All right, because I want to let them know that, hey, I'm not neglecting this value. I want to go ahead and accept this value, and I want to deposit this. All right? 
somewhere along the bill, I'm gonna put pay to the bearer. Now I know there's different ways of doing things, but you know I've got remedy doing pay to the bearer. Again, there's different ways of getting remedy, family. That just this way is not the only way. Now why do I put pay to the bearer? Simple fact of that's what the bill of exchange tells me to put. I'm gonna say it again. The reason why I put bill of uh, the reason why I put pay to the bearer is because the bill of exchange tells me to put pay to the bearer anytime the principal is a fictitious payee. It literally says that I'm just following the breadcrumbs, y'all. I I ain't out here for the crumbs. I'm trying to build me a bakery. You see what I'm saying? I a lot of folks just want crumbs and crumbs and crumbs. People be saying shit like, "Well, at least uh, I, whatever I can. At least it's best something better than nothing." I'm not that type of person. Okay, I want the whole instruction so I can build my own bakery. Okay. All right. So understand. Understand, I'm, I go to the bill of exchange. All the information that I understand about a bill, all right, 90% of it comes from the bill of exchange, family. I started reading the bill of exchange of Canada. I started reading the bill of exchange of UK, all right? The United States have a bill of exchange, but me personally, my own personal experience, I was more comfortable reading Canada's. That's how I have Canadian followers. And then I started reading the UK, and that's why I have a lot of UK followers, all right? Now, a lot of them ask me, hey, man, what do I do? And I'd be like, ah, I know you. You started following me because I was reading the UK version, but I knew we're under a one world order. I read y'all's version because I understood that it's talking about the same thing it's talking about over here. All right. And it, and it worked. Now, I don't cite UK Canada Bill of Exchange. Um, I, don't, I don't cite the UK Bill of Exchange. I don't cite the Canada Bill of Exchange. I just say, well, the Bill of Exchange Act. That's all I say. Because even in the Federal Reserve Act, it, they mention the Bill of Exchange. Even in the Constitution, they mention the Bill of Exchange. So if I'm saying the Bill of Exchange, of course I'm going to utilize the Bill of Exchange Act. And the Bill of Exchange Act tells me anytime the payee is a fictitious person. A fictitious person is somebody that is non-living. I know my principal is non-living. I know I'm the living agent. Okay, so if my principal, meaning on the bill is my principal's name, that's the payee because that's what the corporation has sent the value to. All right, so since the value is coming to my principal, since I'm the agent, I got to accept it on my principal's behalf, transfer it to my principal's account. That's why they say you have a principal balance. All right, but if they say there's an account that's due and there's a principal balance, you need to transfer so you can zero out the account so you can set off. Now, how do I know that? Because of the Bill of Exchange Act, family. People get so mad at me saying, man, I'm a red, man. Can you just tell me what to say? Go read again, loser. Or you don't keep losing until you keep reading and it just cracks and it start comprehending. All right, because me, all right, of course, like when I first started reading Billy Shades, I didn't understand what it was saying. You see what I'm saying? So when I started reading what it was saying, kept reading, kept reading, then it started all started clicking like, oh, my God. They're literally telling me, um, definitely in part two of the Bill of Exchange, all right, it talks about the only way to pay a bill is with interest. They literally say that. It don't say nothing about no damn income. It don't say nothing about no J-O-B. Not, none of that loser shit. Okay? So I don't really listen to folks. All right? I, I don't really listen to losers, family. I really don't. I don't listen to nobody that working a job. I don't. All right? Because I used to work a job. And I understand how people that work jobs think. Because I used to work a job. Everybody in my family works jobs. I came from a family of working jobs, fam. I didn't come from a family that just informed. Okay? So understand. Keep paying how you've been paying till you learn what's going on. All right? A lot of people ask them, well, you just do this, you just do that. Family, go read. It doesn't matter what I do. I'm living life. It doesn't matter what I do. If I came on here and said, hey, y'all, I use all y'all money to pay all my bills. Is that going to stop you from reading the laws that I tell you to read? (laughs) 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 (laughs)
Hey, people be telling themselves, y'all, don't, this stuff don't work. He using y'all money to pay his bills. I would have been stood up like, I don't give a fuck what he using money for. He just sent me to the law that's telling me how to endorse my bills. You know what I'm saying? People so focused on what it is that I'm doing. Uh, I, it, it, you know what I'm saying? That's why it's so it's so fun being on this side, fam. I control all day. Be drunk as a motherfucker. Be drunk as shit. You know how I many people tell me you need to be more professional, and I'd be like, "Says who? Says who? Somebody that's paying bills using income? Who? 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 Says who? Most financial gurus on here is paying bills using income. Who gives a damn what they think? Nobody is asking the losers of the of the of the uh, league what they should do to win championships. Nobody is going to the sorriest team in the league and asking them, "Hey, what's the process to win championships?" Nobody is going there. All right, nobody is doing that, family. I'm here to let those know, nobody is doing that. The hires does not come and talk to the lowers to hear what the lowers have to think. When I was lower, I had to listen because there was nothing I could tell someone that was higher in competency of contracting. So all I did was shut up. I didn't ask, well, how does he pay his? How, hey, man, just lead me to the information. I don't give a damn what you using my money for. You could be using my money to go pay for endless amount of prostitutes. I don't give a damn what you use my money for. Okay, just point me to the information so I can go read it, goddamn. All right? All right? Point me so I can go read it. And I do that time after time. And I'm going to start trolling people saying, they ask, well, do you? Well, how do you pay your bills? I'm sorry, I pay the bills with the money that people give me for my classes, teaching people how not to pay bills. Because now they're not going to have nothing to say next. Like, oh, that's just a shame. And I'm like, yes, it is. Would you like a class? Would you like information to go read? All right. Back to the lesson. All right. On my bill, I put accepted for value. Okay, I also put pay to the bearer on my bill. Now, why do I put pay to the bearer on my bill? Because the bill of exchange told me to go put pay to the bearer. Now, if I go to an actual federal act that tells me how to handle my bill, is that hearsay, family? Is that hearsay? Hmm? Hmm? Is that hearsay, family? They tell me, you're not supposed to put pay to the bear. And I'm like, have you read the Bill of Exchange Act? No. I right, shut the fuck up then. God damn. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I've never, I just really, like, really, right after get remedy, you start seeing how many people got voices that should just shut the fuck up and read. Literally. It's so many people that be talking, y'all. It's like after I became informed, it's like all I hear is wah 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 Folks be like, brother, you ain't supposed to do it. You go correct your status. I be like, well, have you did that yet? Not yet. I'm still. I shut the fuck up, then. Shut the fuck up. Why are you even talking? Like, do you do you have a class? Are you teaching people? Nah, I don't. But not yet. But I did. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Well, you know I'm 60. Well, you... All right, well, well, well shut, the, shut your old ass up, man. The fuck? No matter because you older. The fuck? What are we talking about? Now, young man. Now, young man. Y- young man. Y- Ain't no young man. Okay, you're a minor. Okay? You the child. Okay? <laughs> you the damn child. Okay? I'm the adult, all right? Okay? All right? So again, if you haven't accomplished anything with laws, shut the fuck up. I wanted to say that in Atlanta so bad, but it was kids enough. And I was like, damn, I got to be rated PG, okay? But man, I just be one like, hey, yo, brother, hey, hey, sister, shut the fuck up, okay? 
All right? Because why are you even talking? Y'all remember back in the day, somebody talk out of line, everything get quiet. Like, what the fuck? Is Did that peasant just talk? <laughs> Man, they would have cut your goddamn tongue out. Peasant, did you just talk? What? Now, what estimates a peasant? Because even I didn't know I was a peasant. I had to read the law and it's like, God damn, I'm a peasant. Anybody that is entering contracts, not accepting interest, is a peasant family. So why the hell is so many peasants having a fucking voice? That's why we got all these different bathrooms and shit. Too many people have voices. Ain't nobody reading shit. Folks starting conversation like, well, I feel, and I just been like, well, I feel you should shut the fuck up. Goddamn. Sheesh. Shut up. We're not going to be able to cut this video up. It doesn't matter. All right. But sometimes somebody got to say it. All right. If you not reading, shut up. So mean, I got somebody in my inbox saying right now, hey, you're wrong about that application, by the way. Uh, da, da, da. And I'm like, what the fuck you mean I'm wrong about that application? What are you talking about? Do you have results with this? They were like, well, no, not yet, but I can just see how you're wrong. Shut the fuck up. Why are you in my inbox? Shut, 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 shut the hell up. Man. I wish we was on old times, man. Some folks, now I ain't going to say that, all right? I mean, you can't let the liquor go too far, all right? But, I, man, something got to get cut, man. Like, some, some folks talking too much, all right? Like, back in the day, you could only speak if you were spoken to and only speak if you had value for us. Peasant to speak, they had to say something so immaculate. They had to say so something so fucking amazing to have everybody like, God damn, peasant, keep talking. Y'all ever seen the movies when the lords, they had to say something so fucking amazing to have everybody from stopping killing their ass. Like, keep talking. Keep talking, peasant. I like what you're saying. Keep speaking. <laughs> peasant be nervous as hell. Uh, I just feel we should uh, attack from the side. And, uh, and that way their defense can't. Uh, defend us because the waters on the outside would kind of trap them in a, a combustion and we could have our archers shoot them from the top. But, you know, I'm just I'm just giving my opinion. And it was like, God damn, peasant. I'm about to ignite. I'm about to ignite you to my defense team. God damn. Did that peasant have to have money? No. The motherfucker had to have advice. They had to have some value. How can you help the ship? We don't want to hear what you think. We want to hear what you know, peasant. Okay? And it's a lot of folks talking about shit that they don't know. Somebody at work right now debating about the goddamn uh, 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 who they should vote for. Like whoever they vote for going to change what they're going to do with their bills. You got folks that voted for Democrat. Now they got mad, start voting Republican. They still treat their bills the same damn way. So what are you talking about? Y'all, we are bananas. I be trying to tell folks, y'all, we like the laughing stock. Sometimes I be wanting to ask folks that ain't from my country, hey man, how funny is America? Just be honest. How funny is America? Because this got to be on, our, our nation got to be on like Comedy Central of, uh, the na of, uh, of international comedian specials. It got to. Because ain't no way we this damn dumb. You got folks that come over here with nothing. Two years later, they have everything. And then pack their stuff up and go home and live like they never came over. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you got folks that's been here forever saying things like, well, you know, we can't do nothing because we black. Saying slave shit like that. And then you got folks that ain't saying things like that. Saying like, all oh, these immigrants coming over here and taking our jobs. It's because you're not supposed to be fucking working. What the fuck are you talking about? Complaining about nothing. What are you working for? They're working so they can get money and take it back home. You working so you can keep a bill up. 
All right. But anyways, on my bill, I put accepted for deposit. I put pay to the bearer. Okay. I write the bill out in word form. Okay. Why do I do that? Because the bill of exchange told me to do that. <laughs> the bill of exchange said, hey, write in words and figures. Because in discrepancies, for any issues, they go off the words. They don't go off the value number that you see. They go off the words that you write out. Why do they do that? Because only the living can express themselves. That's showing that I'm alive and that I'm not dead, family. See, a lot of y'all some scary yellow bellies. So what I'm talking about probably sound like some, some scary shit to you right now. But who gives a fuck? Grow up, okay? All right, because this is nothing about this is all business. All right, you're in it, whether you like it or not. For those that's trying to escape the United States, pack your fucking bags up and leave. All right, it's that goddamn simple. It's not hard to get a passport. It's not hard to save a little bit of money up and then move to a country where that dollar ratio is higher than where you move. All right, but if you're going to be here, you're going to have to be business mentality. You got to be an entrepreneur. You got to understand contracting or you're going to be the peasants, all right, that everybody makes money off of. So which one do you want to be? Which one do you want to be? You can either stay here and be the peasants. Or everybody use you as a rug. That's what they're doing. They're going to keep doing it. All right. Or you can get competent. Learn what's going on. Be a part of the system because you're a part of the system. Okay. Or three, pack your bags up and fucking leave. Shut up and leave. You got folks that's been complaining for 30, 40 years, 50 years, saying this is place is not for us. We need to go back to Africa. You ain't even got your passport. Shut up. Shut up. That Marcus Garvey boat has sailed, okay? It's gone. All right? It's gone. All right? If you was meant to be in Africa, you would be in Africa. You know how I many Africans come over here, come back and forth? You know how I many Africans I don't work with? And they'd be like, ah, man, you Americans, yeah. And I'd be like, hey, man, don't hold your tongue because I agree with you. All right? We uninformed like a motherfucker, all right? Don't know shit. And I see why a lot of countries don't like us. All right? Because, damn, I don't like us. <laughs> nah, I don't like us. All right? Literally, we got acts and laws showing how to use prepayments, but we'd rather enter contracts and repay and create a whole life built off of, why does the government make us pay for water? Why does the government raise the gas prices? Gas is so high and minimum wage is not equal enough to the food. It's just not making sense. We need to march. We need to save the jobs. We got women coming together. We want to work like the man. Got women tucking their titties away so they can be in the army look like men. We want to be like the man. We want to work 150 hours too. What are we doing? Goofies. No other country is doing this. What the fuck are we doing? Talking about 50 50. Man, just read the fucking contracts. Like, we don't even have to have these. And even y'all see me talking about it, it's because I just like, you know, I'm controlling with it. But I, I, just, just, <laughs> all right, from a drunk mentality, all right, this shit is stupid, okay? Dumb as hell, all right? You know how many podcasts is built off talking about dumbass relationship shit? All right, should a man pay this? Should a woman pay that? Why can't a woman be faithful? Why does a man cheat? Why does it have to be 50-50? Why can't she do this? Why can't the woman be a breadwinner? Y'all, it's dumb. If everybody learned what's going on, you would not hear baby dad bashing. You wouldn't hear baby mom bashing, okay? All right? You ain't going to see none of that. You can't blame it on nobody. That's why I love law. Okay, that's why I love the law. The law adapts. Okay, law, you can't have any emotions when you read the law. You got to be emotionless because in business, you can't bring your emotion. And what do a lot of lower folks do? And by the way, middle class is lower class. All right, they said middle class just to make lower class feel special. 
Okay, there's no such thing as middle class family. All right, there's lower class and higher class. All right, when you start to make a bunch of other categories, it start becoming a participation award, and none of that shit is real. All right, so emotional emotions cannot be in business, family. You got to be so heartless in business. Not saying you got to step on people's toes, fuck people over. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying you have to understand you got to be heartless because no one cares about your emotions, family. Okay, no one cares. The banks don't care about your emotions. Congress don't care about your emotions. All right, if you don't understand contracting and you keep on living life through contracting and not reading, you're your own demon. You're the you're the devil to your demise, and I'm here to let you know, my friend. Okay, all right, you worship the devil. Okay, yes, yes, everybody that is working a job. Okay, everybody that is trapping. Everybody that is uh, doing anything to get income to pay a bill, my friend. You worship the devil yes yes i know you probably tell somebody it's it, somebody that's real religious right now saying oh loose hill i don't worship no devil yes you do my friend because even the bible says you're not supposed to be borrowing okay all right okay all right now how does the drunk me know this in the sober you don't know this all right why do i know this but your pastor didn't tell you this okay huh why because your damn pastor don't even know this. All right? Your pastor went to religious school and learned it from a religious way and not a business way. All right? Everything is business. If you don't start everything from a business mindset, you're going to be in la-la motherfucking land. All right? And that shit ain't real. All right? You going to get stepped on and stepped on. You shall. All right? And for good reason. You ain't read shit. All right, all my demises and financing, all I could do was blame myself. I said, damn, if I knew this, I wouldn't have had to do that. If I knew that, I wouldn't have been in that situation. If so I couldn't blame nobody. Y'all think I'm walking around saying a white man is holding me back from learning my rights? Do this look like the 20s? All right, my condolences to everybody that was in the 20s and the 1800s. But do it look like somebody in white hoods is... Holding the gun to my head and saying, boy, you bet not read. But you got folks that look like me walking around as if the clan is holding their nuts. You bet not read, boy. You bet not read. And you got folks out here saying, well, you know, we can't get too far because they're going to kill us. Shut your slave ass up. Shut up. We don't want to hear what a loser has to say about how the world shall be. The world is how it is because there are a lot of uninformed people that has laid down. Uh, all right, not to offend anybody, but there's been a lot of folks that have laid down. What Beanie Seagull say? Either you get down or you lay down. And when you lay down, you're going to stay down. That's why you can't lay down, family. What did Patrick Henry say that he went to court? He said, bitch, give me liberty or give me fucking death. Now, he didn't say it like that, but if it was 2024, that's what he would have said. All right? For anybody that don't know who Patrick Henry is, Google it. All right? Give me liberty or give me death because if I can't live through my rights, I don't deserve to live. Y'all gonna count me as a dead man lost at sea if I don't exercise my rights. All right? So I'm here to let you know, family, this is way deeper than what you think it is. If you aren't following God's words, my friends, you are a demon. You are the devil's child. You're going against God's words. Think every time you get in a situation, you start praying to the wrong person. Ha! Ha ha! Ha! The alcohol is talking. Ha! Ha ha! You sent the text message to the wrong person? Ha ha. Ha ha. God, please help me get out these bills. No one's listening because the word was already given to you. Ha ha. You didn't read it. Ha ha. Just like you didn't read your contract. Ha ha. Ha ha. No one's coming to save you. Ha ha. Only people like myself coming to give you the message. But you're going to judge me. You're not going to miss. You're going to miss a message just like they miss Jesus' message. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha, 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 ha. Okay? So either you can tap in or you can keep dropping on your knees and laying down. You can keep doing it. Who cares who it offends? I'm drunk. 
I don't have to think about what I say. We're not on TikTok. Ha ha. As long as it's not violent, we're good. Ha ha. Hey, hey, hey. Okay? So you can keep dropping on your knees? Or you can stand the fuck up and read your damn contract? What, what, what are you dropping on your knees for anyway? Like, what? What? What are you doing? The Bible said they would fall to their knees. They weren't talking about you. They're talking about the goddamn borrowers. The borrowers are going to drop to your knees because you're the creator. You're the creation. Okay? Ha ha. Loser. You're not following God's word. Disrespecting God like that. Okay? Some of y'all should be banished from the kingdom. Okay? <laughs> and a couple of y'all are, are banished from the kingdom. All right? So understand. There's laws, family. There's ways to handle bills. God even says, forgive us of the debt as we forgive our debtors. Okay? Lead us not into temptation. Forgive us from evil. God is the kingdom. The power and glory. Forever and ever. Not sometimes. Not periodically. Okay? Not periodically. All the time. People go to church and say, God is good. They're like, all the time. Well, he ain't, it ain't good to you, all right, because you're not reading nothing. How many folks got a car? You took a picture, said, thank you, God, and then you got the car repo. Do you think God will literally give you something and, as a gift and say, you know what? I'm going to take it away because you ain't working hard enough? What? 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 What are we talking about? If God want me to have it, I'm going to have it. Like, what, what, why, how is it going to get taken away by a borrower? What? That lets me know my prayers was getting sent to the wrong number. The wrong number. All right? Only you can get yourself to the gates of heaven. Family, in the gates of heaven isn't up there. Okay? All right? Just like hell, is it down there? All right? Hell in heaven is right here. All right? Some of those got heaven on their right. Some of those got heaven on their left. Some of those got hell on the right. Some got heaven on the left. All right? However are you looking at it? Okay? Who are you talking to? And the one that's in the middle is the one that makes the decisions. You can't be listening all the way to the right and then, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. And then go live life there, blame the motherfucker you've been listening to. It was your voice. You're the one that did that. You're the one that entered the contract, didn't read nothing, and thought your minimum wage job was going was gonna to be able to keep up with the damn bills. You, that was you. That was you. They didn't see that the economy was rising and you was trying to do what your mom and dad did by holding the job down, hourly wage, and saying low shit like long as I only need about fourteen dollars an hour and I'm good. I need about twelve dollars and I'm good. I get eighteen, I'm good. Twenty five dollars, I man, I I'm good. All I need is twenty five. Somebody right now saying all I need is six figures. I'm looking for a job to pay six figures. I'm looking for a job that pays six figures. And again, this is not a beat down. This is not me talking down. This is me talking to my old self because I used to say goofy shit like that. Long as I make 100000 I made a good year. Never even saw 100000 Saw my taxes say 100000 Trying to rave that around. Look, look, I'm making 100000 Look, look. In 12 months, I got 101000 I'm a six-figure Negro. I'm a six-figure Negro. I want to say the real word, but you know, I'm a six-figure Negro. All right? Like, what the fuck does that mean? The fuck does that mean? I try to tell somebody, when you're, when you're so low, looking above you seems so high. If you're on level negative 300, Level negative 250 going to seem high, ain't it? 
until you get to level negative 250, you still got a ways to go, my friend, before you break even. Okay? Somebody is offended right now, and I'm drunk, and I just don't give a fuck. Okay? We just don't give a fuck how you feel about what I just said. Either you can heave the advice or take your ass back to work. It's that, it's that, it's that simple. Let that buzzer beat your ass. Her, I used to have uh, I used to work at a job that used to have buzzers. We just went time to go to lunch. Big ass buzzer. Her, we drop everything. We get in line and shit. Walk to the cafeteria. We gotta stay in line. Wait to get all utensils and shit. We gotta hurry. I got I had to hurry. Run to the car and go because I was a smoker. I had to smoke weed on my break. I had to run to my damn car and shit. Drive off, be speeding because I had to count my damn time down and shit. Smoking extra fast, inhaling super quick, not even really getting the high. Rushing back, dropping the blunt and shit. Oh, this dumbass shit. Now, I just smoke in peace. I smoke in places I'm not even supposed to smoke. Why? Because fines are for poor people. All right, where did I get that from? I got that from Andrew Tate. He was right. Fines are for poor folks. They can't pay the fucking fine. I be smoking all in my damn hotel rooms. What? I might fine me. What the fuck? Who cares? 250? Fine. Find it. Add it to the bill. Okay, who cares? Oh. All right. Who cares? My chick be like, oh, you, you, we might need to put the weed out. They might say, I be like, shut up. Let them give us a warning. Okay? If they find us, they find us. All right? Again, fines are only, only affect the poor people that don't understand what to do with the fines. Fines is what keep working class in check. You get out of line, we're going to fine you 300. Oh, you don't do this, 300. I remember going to court one time and the girl was mad. She was like hyperventilating. I just knew she was in there for some murder. I'm like, damn, you okay? You know, I'm just trying to see well, how can I help her with a case. She's like, yes, I just, I just don't want to go to prison. I said, damn. You know, you ain't supposed to ask people what they did. I'm like, damn, what you, what you looking at? She was like, I was speeding in a reckless, reckless, um, I was speeding 25 miles over. It's my first time. And I'm like, Shawty said prison. But not to blame her. I remember when I first got locked up, my longest I ever been was three months in jail, right? I thought I was going to get out the next day. I ended up being up for three months. I'm going to ask everybody, yo, what's going to happen to me? What are they about to do? What are they about to do? And everybody back there was like, man, get on blood. Chill. God damn. You only looking at one year in prison. I'm like, one year? I can't spend one year in prison. <laughs> I started doing push ups and shit. All right, if I'm gonna be here, I gotta do a thousand push ups every that motherfucking day, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. What a fucking loser. Oh my goodness. So again, I'm not <laughs> I'm not talking to y'all. I just be looking at my old self and I'm like, hey yo, I was a fucking loser, dog. <laughs> That motherfucker stressing them people about my case. Hey, uh, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, uh, shit, I got a habitual offender, the sixth offense for driving under suspension. I, I'm in college, you know, I don't got no, no record, you know. I got kids, man. I got, he like, man, relax, man. You probably, man, hey, I'm, uh, you seen the judge? You got a lawyer? I'm like, nah, I ain't got a lawyer. Well, you got a public defender? Yeah, I got a public defender. Ah, yeah, you probably looking at probably, yeah, they gave me a year my first time. I'm like, what? Got that motherfucking cell star. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, three months later, because again, my family don't know shit about the court system, right? So I had to wait that motherfucker three months to talk to a public defender. Public defender kept taking goddamn vacations. Every time I sent a letter, they like, oh, I had my sister call, she like, oh, he's on vacation. I'm like, God damn, how many vacations they get? Okay? Alright, so 
I finally seen him three months later. He's like, yeah, the judges should just let you out because you don't have a record or anything like that. And I'm like, what? Okay. Y'all, the day I seen my public defender is the day I seen the judge. And the day I seen the judge is the day I got out of jail. The judge looked at me and said, I see that you're at college. I see that you have a record. Then he looked at me and said, but if I see you again, I promise you, I'm going to throw you in jail. All right, then he said that. I was like, man, I've got to make sure I don't ever. Uh, but, man, if I knew what I knew now, what? I would have said, man, I wish you would throw me in jail for for ex- exercising my right to travel. What? But I didn't know. All right? So I see so many people, like, not even though I don't laugh at people's demise, but I laugh at because the issue is, yo, we just don't know what's going on. That's actually a good problem, all right? Because now you just need to know what's going on. It's not like we don't have options. At first, I thought we didn't have options, which is a way different mentality than now. Like, damn, I got options. Yeah, they can say 25 years. So what? I'm about to go defend myself because I've been reading enough laws to enforce, to exercise my rights. All right? But back to the bill. All right? I'm writing out in words and figures. For the simple fact that the Bill of Exchange tells me to do that. All right. Um, also, I'm going to write on the back of the bill. All right. I'm going to write my names out. I'm going to write my name. All right. I'm going to do for and by. Top's going to be for. Bottom's going to be by. All right. Now, this is called a restrict endorsement. All right. Now, why am I restrict endorsing this value, this bill? Because I have to inform them where it's going and who it's for. And who it's by. I'm going to say it again. I have to let them know who it's for and who it is by. Okay? Or by, for, however you want to put it. So if I put my by first, by semicolon, I'm going to put my agent's name. My agent's name is going to be something along the lines of my last name first, first name middle, middle name last, backslash agent. All right, that's that's an option you can put. You can put agent, you can put uh, rep, you can put representative, okay? Uh, Now, that's my buy. My buy is, again, last name first, first name middle, middle initial, last, backslash, agent. You can put representatives. I've seen plenty of different things, okay? Uh, Now, you got to think, how many, do I have any people that's been in the military? Um. Why do y'all think they call y'all by y'all's middle, y'all's last name first? <sighs> Why y'all think they call y'all by y'all's last name first? Because you're the living agent. Yeah, that's the family name. That's the agent name. Okay, they don't call you by your corporate name, meaning your all caps name and first and last. That's your corporation. All right, you're the living agent that's acting on behalf of that corporation. All right, just like the uh, they're about to do um, a draft for the military. All right, you know what I mean, just like a draft for the NBA, NFL. You getting drafted into a league. All right, there's an application process that has to happen. Okay, so now you're acting on behalf of that business name. All right, you can do a DBA. A lot of people ask me, us, do we have to do this? Do we have to? Have y'all Googled what a DBA is? Have y'all Googled it? When people ask me, hey, do we need to use this? And I'm like, yo, if y'all would have read what that is, you would see if you want to use it or not. What is a DBA? Exactly. So how could a DBA be bad? You see what I'm saying? But it's like, it's like people want clarification, like, should we do this? And if I say no, most people are not even going to look up what a DBA is. You see what I'm saying? That's why I say, hey, go read it. See if, if, see if you like it. If you don't, cool. Okay? But definitely, DBAs definitely help. You got to know, you got to understand a DBA. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people just say, well, can I do this? And then they go, you say, yeah, then they just go jump and do it. Don't even understand why. There's so many people with trust right now don't even know how to use their trust. I got to trust. I got to trust. I got to trust. 
It's like they think it's cool just saying it, but if you're not operating, utilizing the trust, that's just like having a business that you're not even using. Who cares? Somebody said, should you use a negative number when you're writing out the amount? Well, I will ask you this, family. Where does it say that at? Where does it say that at? Again, we're not going off here to say, I know some groups probably saying, hey, you should write out a negative to show that it's a, where does it say that at? It don't tell me to put that in the bill of exchange. Nowhere. It don't say, hey, write the number out in negative. That's not what it tells me. You know, I'm, I'm, again, I'm just going off what I read. Okay, I don't have a negative number on my bill, so why would I put a negative number? Like, why would I endorse a negative number? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Really think about that. Why would I endorse a negative number if they didn't even send me a negative number? They sent me a positive balance. All right, so I'm, I can only endorse what the value was sent. So that's why I want my whole contract. I'm going to say, yo, can you send me a payoff sheet? I'm not even going to do the monthly, monthly. I'm just teaching y'all for the folks that can kind of understand what a bill is. But if you don't want to do the monthly, the month to month endorsement, you can just really get a payoff sheet for the whole account. All right, a lot of folks, well, what do I do if I, again, family, you're going to have to get a class for some of this stuff. I'm going to be able to break every day, everything down. All right, but you want to get the payoff sheet. All right, I'm going to say things, calling my corporation, say, hey, I just came into a lot of money and I want to go ahead and pay up my contract for the year. Can y'all send me a payoff sheet? All right, they're going to send me a payoff sheet. All right, I'm going to endorse the payoff sheet the way I just said I would endorse <clears throat> a bill. All right, but with that payoff sheet, I'm going to add a tender of payment. My tender of payment is going to be my expression on a separate sheet of paper that's typed up, informing them who I am, who I'm there for, and what to do with the credits that's been sent over to the uh, principal. All right, that's my tender of payment. All right, after I accompany that with my um, payoff sheet, I'm also going to add a, a power of attorney. All right, I'm not going to send nothing off, though. My first letter, I'm going to send them. All right, it's going to be something along the line, like, hello, I have, um, nice to meet you. Um, I'm just coming forth for a couple of questions about my contract. All right, a couple questions about my contract. They're going to get me over to the right department. All right, then when I get over there, I'm going to say things like, hey, uh, I just had a couple questions about my contract. I see that I'm in a contract uh, with such and such corporation. I just want to understand, is there any interest attached to this contract? I'm going to leave it like that. Is there any interest? Now they're going to say things like, uh, well, what interest are you talking about? All right, now they want me to get a little bit more specific. All right, now I'm going to get specific because now I'm building a rapport. A lot of y'all just going to send your bills in and you're going to get your shit shut off. All right, why? Because you're not building no type of rapport. You're not giving no true notice. All right, a lot of people think just them sending an endorsed bill the first time is a notice. And that family, like, no, that's like you showing up to somebody's house and not telling them you're showing up. You got to let them know what you're trying to do. You're the one that's been doing it wrong, not them. You're the one that signed the contract, said you was going to repay, not them. All right. So you got to let them know what's going on before you just abort what you've been doing and just use this. That's why I try to say keep paying your bills. You can still build a rapport while you're building, while you're building, while you're paying your bill. All right. But once they get back to me, uh, I'm going to say things like the interest that I'm talking about is the security interest. I just want to know who has rights to the security interest in this contract. I'm going to say some questions along that line. All right. Uh, hold on right quick. Instagram, we're going to go live again. We got one minute on here, so I'm going to do a part two.